So I'm just going outside and showing you what else they got. And they gave us sand. And here's Holly. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, guys. Or, um, friends. Or what should I call you? I guess good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning and we are not at church like usual. We are all at home because we are all sick. <laughs> so on Friday, I like lost my voice. <laughs> and then this morning, uh, Luke woke up with a sore throat and we've just been fighting off colds for the good part of this week. So we're okay though and it's not too bad. But yeah, we just had some colds. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little update about how my big dish declutter went because um, you probably uh, might have watched a video a little while ago about how I did a big dish declutter. Well, um, looks like simplifying things made it more complicated. So I thought it was going to uh, make things more simple, but it sort of made it more complicated because what happened was I took all the dishes away and only left out like one bowl for each person and one plate etc for each person um, so we had to wash them over and over again um, the whole point was to stop dishes piling up right um, but what happened was um, we were doing more dishes by hand I should say Luke is because Luke mainly does um, our dishes so he was doing like more dishes by hand um, and then we weren't using our dishwasher as much and then when we did put them in the dishwasher we'd run out of dishes and we were constantly running to the dishwasher going oh there's no bowls oh where's the plates and then it was like you know and then my parents came over yesterday and I needed another soup bowl for lunch and I realized that because we're having soup and I realized we needed like more bowls so I had to go out to the shed and get more bowls and so um, and then it was just like tedious washing them by hand over and over again. We kind of wanted to put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> so what's going to happen? I'm probably going to bring all the dishes back inside again. So I guess it was like a kind of a funny like experiment um, to see what would happen. So um, yeah, I'm just in the kitchen now. Um, so yeah, what I'm probably going to do is like go to the shed and bring them back inside again. So. Um, you know, it was just an experiment to see what would happen and I guess it it didn't really work. Um, yesterday my parents came to see us. They live on a farm where I grew up. Um, they still live there, which is about two and a half hours away from here. And it was just so nice to see them. And um, they always give us so much food. Um, they're like big foodies and we're big foodies. And I've got my pink lady apple here from their tree. That I am currently eating. Um, I just thought I'd do like a quick haul video like as well of what they gave us um, yesterday but I I put it all away so I'll just show you it all it's not all in the um, set up on the table or anything it's just I'm gonna show it to you like all packed away and just so you can see what they gave us and I just really hope that you know one day like I can give um, my adult children this much produce so yeah it's my dream to like live on a block of land and um, grow lots of um, fruit and vegetables we already grow some fruit and vegetables on our here at our rental house but um, yes it's just me dreaming in the future about one day owning a block of land and um, yeah having lots of fresh produce so um, I'll just show you what they gave us yeah, so this is some pickled onions that my mum made. So she made us this and she also made us um, these pickled beetroot and she also made us some mayonnaise. Um, I just want to show you just how amazing my mum is. She made me these are uh, like almond biscuits. They're like gluten-free almond biscuits. So they are so yummy. They've got like chocolate, dark chocolate in them and cashews and lots of yummy stuff so she also brought us some fresh kurong mullet um, which we cooked for tea last night and there's some left over um, she picked us a whole heap of home growing kale that's a big bag of kale and also a big bag of um, her home growing carrots it's a bit hard to see in this bag but there's like yellow yellow red and orange ones she also made us 
two huge, enormous apple crumbles. It's a bit hard to see. There's one there and there's one in the freezer. So that's all the um, fridge stuff that she gave us. So we've got, let's try and focus. So she's, she, they have like heaps of apple trees. They have an enormous orchard. And mum cooks the apples and preserves them. And then what we do, we, um, it makes great baby food, um, the cooked apples. But we, we mainly make apple crumble out of it. We put it in a dish and make the crumble. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jars of apple there. There's more down here. Mum also makes this tomato chutney. So mum gave us about four big bottles of um, tomato chutney and she uses all like recycled jars. So um, anyway, she gave us these big preserved pears also um, from their fruit trees. So we've got, there's about five big jars of these big pears back there. Um, and there's also some preserved quince, which we don't eat as much of, but I eat a little bit of it. I eat it slowly. Um, anyway, I'll go outside now and I'll show you what else um, they gave us from the um, their fruit trees. Like, they gave us a whole heap of apples from their trees, which is great. And I'll show you what else they gave us. So, so I'm just going outside and showing you what else they got. So you can see here, this looks like, the sand, this is um, our sand pit that we've had for a while, all these beams that we painted. And they gave us sand. And here's Holly. Good morning, Holly. And what did grandma and grandpa bring us yesterday, Holly? A sandcastle? <laughs> yes, so they brought us all this sand, didn't they, from the farm. And Grandma even said a wombat dug it up. So here's Willow. Willow, you can say hi. Hi. <laughs> Did Grandma and Grandpa dig up some sand for your sand pit? Do -do. Was it from the wombat hole? No. no. Ow. Your wombat hole? No! Yay! Oh, you want to see Yo? <laughs> How are you? Hi, Ari. Just been down here so we can see you. Hey. hey. I'm taller than Mummy. Whoa, you're all the way up there, Ari. <laughs> I'm taller than Mummy. <laughs> hey, Ari. How are you going today? You feeling yeah. a bit better? Are you still sick? Yes, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. What do you like the best? stuff that grandma and grandpa gave us yesterday. Sand. Do you like the sand? And the quince jelly. Oh, quince jelly. I forgot to show them the quince jelly. Actually, there's more stuff inside that I forgot to show you. So I'll show you there in a sec. So, good morning, Savannah. Savannah, you just look super cute in this dress. But my bell doesn't work. Doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't work. What do you want to tell our friends on YouTube this morning? You want to tell them what you're up to? Yeah. What are you up to this morning? Uh, I am riding my bike and we're playing in the sand pits and effectively my bell doesn't work. No, we we'll have to get you a new bell. Dad might fix it. He might. And where did we go to church this morning? We, we, we. Uh, we went in Blanky Church. Blanky Church. Where we all get in our blankies and we watch church on the big screen. It's, like a, it's like a wall with a projector. Yes, we watched yeah. we watched the church all the way over no from no it was from Adelaide. We watched it in our lounge room and yes. Bye. And we watched the music from all the way from America. So there's Francis on the trampoline who does not want me to film him because he's still in his pajamas. Hey Luke. Hello. Are you not feeling well today? No. Sore throat, but I have no sleep. Oh yeah. But apart from it's that, not I'm not too bad. Just sweeping. Okay, so this is our shed. Let's turn the light on. This is our refrigerator in the shed. So there's no light in this fridge, so it's a bit dark. So we've got about three big boxes of apples here. We've got 
There's some Granny's homegrown Granny Smith apples. That is a big one. And there's Pink Ladies and there's Golden Delicious. Apple. Apple. And there's another big apple. box here. Apple. You want an apple, Willow? You can apple. Have, you can have one. And there's another oh drawer full of apples there. Apple. Apple. Yeah. Okay, so they also a whole bag of greens, I think it's spinach, and also these greens here. I would tell you what they are, but I don't know, but you eat them. <laughs> I know you eat them. Okay, do you want to show the camera your sandcastle, Holly? Yeah. So that's those things that they gave us. Okay. Oh wow, that really is cute. And it's a sand castle what I made. That is so super cute Holly. Yeah, and it's found fit. So you go up, up, up. Your sand castle. Yeah. That's super cute. You probably noticed that I've cut Holly's hair. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a haircut? I loved her big long hair so much. I love my big G and cloud. <laughs> but it was just getting so naughty all the time and she really didn't like me brushing it. So I need to wash my hands. Okay. Oh, you did get an apple, Willie. Oh, you're right. So why I'm outside, um, I should show you my garden. So just why I'm out here. Um, this is my garden, my veggie patch. So um, here I've got about 25 kale plants. I really love veggie gardening but I just don't have time much. There's a lemon tree. Here we've got some herbs, we've got some thyme and parsley and we've got a little grapefruit tree here. Um, we've got, so, and here, do you know what we've got here, Savannah? Do you want to explain it? Baby broccoli. And that is actually a sign of that. Do you know what it's called? Parsley. Parsley, yeah, that one's parsley. Yep. we got parsley, parsley. and baby broccoli. Yep, and there's also purple sprouting broccoli. Yeah. Yes, so that's our veggie patch. We were thinking of putting some veggies in there, and this is our lechon tree. Yep. But it's all gonna dead and it's gonna grow back. Somehow. Yeah, it's not dead, sweetie, it's just dormant. It's, just like... it's lost its leaves because it's winter. So that's my current veggie patch. It's only a little, it's not much, but it's a good start. Um, we've only been in this rental house for about maybe nine. 10 months. 10 months? Yeah, and we've just signed our lease for another six months, so we'll be here for a bit longer. This is Francis's veggie patch. <laughs> he planted some seeds here the other day. I have, I helped them. You did? And they're not coming up. Yeah, so that's what we're up to today. Yeah, we did Blanky Church, as Savannah said this morning, which was very snuggly, something we like to do if, you know, we're sick or something. I think the only thing I didn't show you that what, what my mum and dad gave me is um, quince jelly. So there's one jar of it here. My mum makes this quince jelly out of her quinces. So she gave us about, I don't know, about several jars of this quince jelly. Um, oh, there's more. She also makes these crackers out of flax seeds. Um, very healthy. My mom's really into natural organic healthy food. So that is some crackers that mom makes. Yes, and she made these cockles for the kids. Seriously. She's the best grandma in the world. Yeah, so she just brings us all this food. Oh yes. Apples. She makes us the fruit leather, doesn't she? And she brings us apples. Yes. There's like prune fruit leather. Plum. We ate of our last lot. 
yeah, peach and nectarine. Um, and she also gave us this like huge bucket of honey, which I think it's like back there. So can you see that? It's a enormous bucket of honey. They don't have bees. It's not their honey. It's just from a local beehive, local bee person, bee keeper, a beekeeper, a local beekeeper. Yes. So I'm not sure if I'll do like um, a bit more of a vlog today, but I just remembered that I was eating this apple. So I'm going to finish my apple now and yeah, I might see you guys later on today at some stage. <laughs> see ya. Hey Willow, what you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating Willow? <gasps> Having some fruit leather? <laughs> Do you think maybe you took too much? Is that too much? <laughs>